Hey, Andre, you know, it's uh, really cold out there. Like, really yeah. cold. Yeah, that's why I have my hat. I, I want to say it's like minus eight. Um, so, it did snow last night. So, my thinking was, let's do a video where we compare two cars, one that's front wheel drive to one that's all wheel drive, but they both have all seasons. So the question is, how much better is an all wheel drive car with all seasons okay. versus a two wheel drive car with all seasons? Okay, well, how do we do this? Which well, cars? Well, we have two cars okay. that, that qualify for that. So uh, there is a little bit of a problem, and you'll see that in a second. Actually, it's a pretty big problem because okay. I wasn't smart about this. Okay. So the four wheel drive car is a Mazda 3 Turbo. All right, let's look at the all-wheel drive car. I, I wish we had the cars that have identical tires. Yeah. But, you know. This is the real world. Yeah, this is the we, real world. We often don't have that. Yeah, so here's, here's the Mazda 3 Turbo. This is a loaner car that they lent us. So what are the tires on there, dude? Bridgestone. Uh, let's see. It's very black. Turanza. I haven't seen a Turanza before, have you? No, they definitely look like all seasons. Yeah, yes. they're mud and snows. That's all seasons. So okay. here's the problem. Yes. Let's go outside. So the Camry, I forgot to bring inside. So the other car is the Camry? Okay. Yeah, it's not that simple. Because, like I said, it snowed last night and it's freaking cold. Um, so there's the problem. That's not a big problem. Or maybe. Well... Well, let's make sure it says all seasons. Yes, dude, the Camry does have M plus S, so they're comparable tires. Okay. And this is the most popular sedan, really, in the country. Yeah, the Mazda isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but still, we've got, now we've got all-wheel drive versus two-wheel drive, because of course the Camry is two-wheel drive. So, okay. uh, here, let's see, you got the key? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll shovel it out, let's see if we can get, a, let's see if we can get it out of here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yahoo! Alright, not a big problem so far. So now we just have to go find a slight hill, Andre. Where do you want to go? How about the trailhead? I like that. So what are, what's the test going to be? So I want to accelerate up the up, hill, up this hill and see how fast they do. How about how far they each can get? And then, how about no, we, we time it. See, I mean, they may not even get all the way up. There. Well, that that could be also Just true. to see how high it can get. Yes, and also a downhill uh, braking test. Okay. Okay. All right, you want to take the Camry? I'll take the Mazda. Sure. We got fresh tracks, signs right up to our trailhead. Yes, dude. But I'm beginning to like this less and less because I don't think my front-wheel drive car has what it takes. Yeah, I was thinking about that. It's kind of not really scientific, right? Because we've got two different, I mean, they're all seasons, but they're two different brands of tires, yes. two different tread patterns. So why don't we just have a little bit of fun? Okay. And we can show the difference in a more entertaining way. How? Why don't we do a drag race up the hill? First one to get to the top of the uh, trailhead wins. And that'll show you the difference between front wheel drive and all wheel drive on all seasons. You just want to see me in the ditch, don't you? No, I don't want to see you in the ditch. I just want to have a very, let's say intense way of demonstrating the difference between the two forms of propulsion. Okay, let's do it. You up for it? Yeah. All right, if you get stuck, um, then what? You, you can push, back down. You push. I'll push, I'll push, okay, you okay. drive, but let's do this drag race. All right, okay. let's go for it. Up for auction this week on tflbids.com is one of the cleanest Dodge Dakotas you'll ever find. This 2001 Dakota has the highly sought after 4.7 liter V8, and it's paired to a five-speed manual transmission. Plus, this truck has less than 93,000 miles on it. Head over to tflbids.com to place your bid and take this truck home. All right, the first ever TFL trailhead drag race. And uh, it is cold out there. I mean, bitterly cold. I'll show you what it says. Hey, Andre, my car says minus six. My car says minus four, so it's warming up, dude. How come yours says minus four and mine says minus six? Well, because, you know, Toyotas are more precise and they measure temperatures every millis... I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, it's just crazy cold. Uh, so, um, let's just do this, huh? Why, why put this off any longer? 
Are you ready to go? Yeah, so my Camry is a hybrid. I do have electricity and my naturally aspirated engine and I have sport mode. Are you putting it in sport mode? Well, I might as well, I don't have a snow mode. Well, I also have a sport mode. I put it in sport mode as well. All right, I'm ready, Roman. I'm going into drive and I hope I don't run into you. Yeah, that'll be bad. These are two brand new cars. And by the way, at least the tires are both brand new because my car has 957 miles. How about yours? I have about 1400 miles, so brand new. All right, here's where the dramatic music starts. All right, three, two, one, go, Andre. Three, two, one, go. Go. Bye-bye, Andre. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, no, I'm pushing all the way. Woo, look at that. <laughs> that doesn't mean these cars can stop any quicker, but <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on! Should I wait for you here, Andre? Yeah, wait for me just one minute, okay? Hold on a second. I'm I'm full on. Why'd you get a running start at it? Are you stuck? I need to go put you out. No, give me one more minute. Hold on. <laughs> so I think that was a very uh, graphic example of the difference between all-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. And why, at least in Colorado, it's so nice to have all-wheel drive, even with cruddy all-season tires. Come on! Come on! I can do this! I can do this! Hold on! I'm moving! Okay, you designed this plan specifically to embarrass me, right? No, no, no. I, I really wanted to show the difference between the two types of tires and I would suggest when you get a running start try to stay in my uh, tracks you know so that uh, you're not plowing for snow all right you better watch out because I'm I'm gunning it I'm doing Nathan style all right so is this like a, a secret menu at TFL Nathan style yes it's a secret menu right, here comes Andre come on Andre you can do it you're still in the flat part, and now you're getting on the hilly part, and now you are still going. Go! Actually, these Michelins are okay. Go! 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 No, it's up! It's up! Okay! I'm making it! I'm doing it! Come on, Camry, you can do this! I should have gotten all wheel drive, Camry. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow, dude, that was a lot of spinning, but I did it. Yay, Andre. All right, so uh, now let's do the braking test, huh? I think that was a great example of why in Colorado, the first year you move here, you may have a front or rear wheel drive car, but the second year, like our videographer Cole, we just did that video, right? Yes. You end up getting an all wheel drive car. Uh, so how do we do the brake test? See, see if it makes a difference in terms of actually stopping, not just going. Well, I think braking is more about tires, right? Yeah. Uh, and the weight of your vehicle too. So how about, we always do this, we get up to about 30 miles per hour, Okay. both of us at the same speed, one after the other, and then slam on the brake at the marker like that fence, Okay. and see how far we go. All right. Hey, don't we have a shovel and a broom? Yeah. Let's set up a marker, <laughs> okay? All right. Yes, we're, we're on the budget today. Actually, um, my friend Steve yeah. uh, sent me some Chicago pizzas. What? Yeah, he sent me some Chicago okay. pieces for Christmas. Okay. Uh, I've got the boxes in the back of our support truck. How about we use those as a marker for where we start, and then we'll use the second box as a marker for how far the first car goes. Chicago pizza, yeah. Chicago pizza boxes. Yes. Let, me, let me get them for you. 
taste of Chicago. Can we eat it now? They're empty. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> These could be our markers. So the first one will, will be where we stop breaking. And then the second one will uh, mark the place where the first car actually and we'll stops. see. Yeah, and we'll see how the second car does, right? Yeah, so you'd think that the Camry would be heavier. Yeah. Because it's bigger. So how about I, I go first in the Mazda, you go second. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, so uh, uh, Taste of Chicago, you're getting some free love here. Uh, and Luminati's. <laughs> you can tell I'm from Chicago, love my Chicago style pizza. So first box will the braking zone will be right here. You think or should I go further down, Andre? That looks good. Does that look good? Yeah. Can we get the, we get the 30? I think so. I'll just go down a little bit further. Well go to the fence line. Alright, I'll go to the fence line. Howdy. How you doing? Good. What a great day, huh? Yeah, enjoy. All right. <laughs> cool. So that's where we start breaking. And then uh, the second box will be uh, after the Mazda comes down where it actually stopped. And Howdy. we'll uh, see which one uh, stops quicker. All right, here we go. Count me down, dude. Three, two, one, launch. Here's the majestic Mazda. Whoa! He was going, th that looks fast. All right, well, uh, we have a new testing criteria. I got up to 25. I think that's the safest we can do right now. I don't want to go any faster. All right, dude, let me come up and mark you. Yeah, I couldn't quite get to 30. That's okay, dude. Uh, it looked pretty impressive. You were moving and then, were you full on the brakes? I was, yeah. Okay. I was full on the brakes. We're also running out of fresh snow. All right, so this is your Chicago stop right here, I would say. Yeah, and here's a trick. When you do this, uh, the car, at least in my case, calculates the speed off the wheel speed and not off how fast you're going. So so I was like up to 50, and then, uh, then you released it. I released it, and when, when I got to your braking point, I looked down, I was doing 25. Okay, I'll do the same thing. Yeah, okay, all right, good luck. I'll move the car so we don't have a... Uh, let me let me a, a whoopsie a whoopsie yeah we don't want to have to call Toyota or Mazda. <laughs> All right, Roman. I want to throw a few more numbers at you. We talked about weight, right? So your Mazda 3 Turbo all-wheel drive weighs approximately 3450, and my Camry Hybrid weighs about 3700 pounds. So you really have like a 250 pound advantage over me you know what they say andre the heavier you are the slower you stop at least that's what i'm going with wow i wasn't sure where you're going but dude uh, i'll i'll uh, tell you my price of my car and my fuel efficiency later when i beat you i've already beaten you andre all right go for it go downhill all right i'm gonna accelerate i'm not accelerating okay now i am come on car 25 miles per hour. There. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I think I kicked your butt. Yeah, well, it could be two reasons for that. Uh, one, you know, you weren't exactly in the freshest of snow like I did, but that's because we've up, gone up and down this a few times. Or two, you sure you're doing 25? It didn't look quite like 25 to me. Can I redo it, actually? Yeah, redo it. <laughs> it did not look like 25. Okay, I think I was moving at, well, just over 20. <laughs> but also, I, I had so much trouble getting going that I, I all of my attention was on speed and not where I was driving. If you go, when you're going downhill to your driver's side you can get some fresh snow let's see if you can make it back up the hill there it is I'm getting one with my Camry I'm really learning the ins and outs come on car oh I'm going sideways <laughs> uh, that's all she wrote Andre <laughs> Oh, you can do it. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. You got her. Oh, fudge. I'm gonna go push. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're going uphill. <laughs> I think uh, I think that's the best example of the difference between all-wheel drive with all seasons and two-wheel drive. Why didn't I take the Camry? I should move this while he's not paying attention. <laughs> now I think this is science at its best, is it? <laughs> and if you notice, I move. Oh, you might notice. <laughs> Oh no, TFL work. Six minutes, are you ready? <laughs> yes, we're always transparent here, Andre. So come on down. All right, I'm about to launch. See if you can get to 25. I need to find some fresh snow. We'll take that. Roman, that's the best I can do, dude. Uh, I think I was going 22, and I found some fresh snow. I think my tires might be a little bit better. You know, since we're kind of doing Chicago-style deep dish versus New York's <laughs> thin crust, <laughs> right? It's not exactly pizza to pizza. No. I, I think we have, in many ways, demonstrated why all-wheel drive, no matter what the tire, right, is better in the snow. Well, did I have some fresh snow? I did. Look, I made my own track, so I think maybe the weight of my Camry, you know, by the way, yeah. 46 MPG, yeah. $33,000 price as tested. This is a good value. It is a good value. Yeah. And if you live in Florida, I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you to my friend Steve for your delicious taste of Chicago Lumel Natty's pizza. Uh, and thank you to Andre and thank you guys for watching. Remember. You saw it first <laughs> on TFL Car and alltfl.com. Ciao. Let's go home. I'm freezing, Andre. <laughs> <laughs>